All righty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. <coughs> Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him? Look at this one. Looks like a fish? Death? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, bud. Let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? You think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter. I'm gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell is going on out there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here.
What was that? God damn, another step? Oh, damn it, Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. God, no. Charlie! Howdy, Captain. How's the sea? Big and blue. And how's the sky? Brighter than you. Boom! Game, set, match. Uh-huh. Brad, you okay? Yes. picture.
Duke of Milan, 20 miles north of the coast, over. Reading you. How can we help? Over. Looking for a weather report in my area? Over. Got a severe front heading into your vicinity from northwest. Thunder, lightning, 21 knot winds. Keep an eye on that. We'll check you in the AM rounds. Over. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow then. Over. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? This feels off. Just be quiet and don't say any. Guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. Hey, we got damage here. You see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. So, how's it feel to be a man post-proposal? We're leaving, honestly. Been carrying that around for a while. Why'd you do it on the dime? Right here. Come with me. <gasps> Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Do we read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Cut it. 
job looking after number one. Real smooth. Great leadership, Fliss. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? What the hell is this fucking place? Dude, even those meatheads seem spooked. You think this ship is the Manchurian gold? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. The second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. What happened to him? No idea. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So can't we just, like, hotwire it or something? You cannot hotwire a distributor cap, okay? These assholes knew exactly what they were doing. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that, um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Mm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. Kidnapping, 750 a year. Extra time, 350 an hour. Listening to your stupid bickering? I'll get back to you on that one. At least you're not charging us for the damage to your boat. I am now. I wonder why this was ripped off. Just living our lives, Conrad. Whatever's left of them. I found a letter, by the way. Some guy was writing to his little lady back home about all the ghosts and crap on the ship. Ghosts? Uh, yeah. I mean, there aren't really ghosts here. Right? Let's hope we don't run across any ghosts. We got our hands full already. Okay. We got one guy complaining about another guy pretending to be sick so he could get out of guarding one of the holds. And I guess he was kind of a repeat offender. It sounds like nobody liked it very much down there. So, uh, I guess the moral of the story is stay the fuck away from the haunted cargo holds. Haunted. Maybe they just didn't like working there. Yeah, or maybe there are super ghosts. That's... what? Ghosts, but like 16-bit. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. Super ghosts. Right. We just need to stay calm and focus on getting out of here. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Look, those meatballs are probably just looking for some get-rich-quick Manchurian gold. Which may not even exist. I mean, what if they don't find anything? Fliss, just try being optimistic for once. You don't see me trying to make everyone feel bad all the time, do you? Smiles. I put smiles on people's faces. Try it sometime. So, what do we do? 
way I see it, we got two options. We sneak out or we stay here and fight. Simple as that. Sneaking out is a better option, but I just don't know how we're gonna do it. Okay, well, we're not gonna do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. All right, yeah, catch you later. What happened here? Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey, come here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Nowhere a bet like this would go. I think we just gotta find out. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait! Maybe we should try barricading the door instead.
just want to know where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish and leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. You hear that? If by that you mean the terrifying sound, then no, I didn't hear anything. You know you did? Was it something moving? Something moving would make that sound? Sure. I am so freaked out. It's okay. I'll protect you. Oh, this is nice. Maybe everyone's hiding in the hold for a big surprise party. <sighs> Can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Julia, leave it. You have to take your gear off again in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb wrap to hold. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. Goners. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this.
It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't. I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia, will you marry me? I. I oh crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I. I just. I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes! Yes! I'll marry the shit out of you! <laughs> Alright, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there! We, we have to decompress! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my brother's up there. Julia, this is crazy! You just gotta wait a few seconds! Ugh! <laughs>